Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is our second video for Field Survey Fridays today. And in this video, we're going to talk about what goes into a field package. Five things that I think need to go in every field package, doesn't matter what kind of field survey you're doing. There are other things that need to go into a field package, depending on the type of survey that's being done, but these five things should probably be in every single field package. We talked about in the first video for today, for Field Survey Friday, why written instructions are so important to holding people accountable. The office surveyor and the field crew on both sides of that point of failure. So in this video, we're going to kind of give you some technical stuff that you can use to implement those written instructions. The written instructions that I expect a field surveyor to deliver to a field crew, I call a field package, right? And I don't take credit for this idea. I believe this idea is something I learned when I was at Odell Engineering in Modesto. So kudos to those guys for coming up with this, uh, this concept and this terminology. So what five things go into every field package? I'm going to give it to you right now, okay? Very first thing, survey plan exhibit. What is a survey plan exhibit? I'll tell you. A survey plan exhibit in my shop is an 11 by 17 exhibit with an aerial background. It shows the mapping limits. It shows the existing control. It's got information on site access. It's got information on safety. It's got information on the existing control. It's got information on the methods that I want to be, that I want to have used on the survey. Kind of a, a summarized, uh, a summarized list of the methods I want. It's got information on the job, job number, job name, location of the job, right? It's a, it's a handy, Exhibit the field crew can keep in their pocket. They can pull out when they need to. Sometimes it's more than one sheet. Every job at my company, every field survey, gets a survey plan. No exceptions. We don't do napkin sketches here. We don't just give field crews an address. They go out with an aerial. I want to force that office surveyor to look at an aerial and think about what he's asking the crew to do. That's part of the reason why every field package gets a survey plan. I will do a desktop video and run you through a little diagram where I show you the different parts of a survey plan, but that's the first thing that goes in the field package. Second thing that goes in is the current control, right? If it's an existing job, they need the existing control with the coordinates. If it's a new job, you need to tell them where you think you want the new control point, what's getting set on site, what's getting off set off site, what are they setting? Is it nails? Is it hubs? Is it rebar with aluminum caps? Whatever it may be it will change depending on the job. And they need to know information about the coordinate reference system they're working in. Are they on state plane? Are they on UTM? Are they in feet? Are they in meters? Are they working in grid? Are they working in ground? If they're working in grid, what is their scale factor? They need all that information. If there's been a site calibration on the job, they need a copy of the site calibration. If they need to create a site calibration, you need to tell them that. Site calibrations are a pain in the butt. They're a major source of error. They cause me all kinds of trouble when I was a guy to surveying. So, I'm not going to get into a huge bunch of detail on site calibrations. Maybe we'll do another video on that. But if you're using site calibrations, you need to make sure in the package it's very clear to the crew if there is a site calibration. And if there's not and they need to create one, you got to give them instructions to do that. You should have a procedure for how that is done. The third thing that needs to be in the package is whatever documents the field crew needs to have on hand to get the job done. So, for example, if they're doing an elevation certificate, maybe they need a copy of the building diagram so they can pick the right building diagram and know what they need to shoot. If they're doing a boundary survey, they need a copy of the deeds and maybe of the filed survey maps. Uh, if they're doing a topo survey, you know, maybe they need some as-built or they need a copy of the sketch from the utility locator so they know what paint they have to tie. Changes for every job, job, but there's almost always a set of documents that needs to go into the package. The fourth thing that needs to go in your package is the site contact. Almost always the crew should have a point of contact that they can get a hold of if something happens on the site. If there's a gate locked, if the neighbors pull out a shotgun, um, if there's a potential hazard on the site, you know, a dog, a, a violent dog, or a uh, poison oak, or a meteor, meteor crater that could be radioactive, like you name it, we've seen it. Uh, they need to be able to get a hold of somebody on the site to get those problems resolved. They should also have an office contact. Who do they call in the office if they have a problem? The crew should always know who that is. So those are the five things. I'm going to review them. Five things that go into every field package. One, survey plan exhibit. Two, information on the control and coordinate system. Three, whatever docs the crew needs to do their job. Four, site contact. Five, office contact. Those are the things that go into a field package on every survey. I'll finish up with this question. Should you check a field survey, a field package after it is prepared? The answer to that question is yes, with three exclamation points have a checklist. I've got one on the Refine Horizons website that you can download if you want. Make your people check their packages. That way you're sure nothing is missed. It would really suck if you sent a crew to a job that was three hours away. 
They didn't get all the filed survey maps and they didn't look for some key corners. You got to send them back. That's the kind of problems you can catch with a good field package and a good field package checklist. Thanks for watching. We'll do some more Field Survey Friday videos next week.